What's up poker players? Hope you guys are crushing the tables. Today we're going to take a look at my session from last night. It was a quick one, up a little bit, up more in big blinds than I was in cash, and actually should have been down money according to my EV net one, so I was running pretty well, plus EV, plus variance. But let's get into some of the big and interesting hands from this session. Biggest hand of the night came from this one. We are up against a very regular player, Parker, who I have 19,000 hands on. Uh, this player plays a very balanced game, polarized type player. I just make a call with Jax in the cutoff, and we get a call from the big blind as well. Parker comes out and bets two thirds on the flop. I make a call with just the Jax again. I do know that this player plays pretty tight, and therefore would be only betting a stronger range into me with the 40% bet on flop and even a smaller bet percentage on the turn. So I do know that this player has a strong hand when he comes out and bets two thirds again. And I have the essential nuts right now with the top set with the jack on the turn. That's a big fucking card for me. That feels great. He's got the second nuts with the second top set, which he flopped. I got a, a huge turn there. That card, you know, made my hand and I was playing from way behind. So he winds up just calling my turn raise I think he was trying to conceal the strength of his hand right there because he the only hand he could really put me on that beats him is pocket jacks and that six on the river made both of our hands but somehow he checks back and I think that is a mistake in in the way he played it and if you're going to be checking back a full house you're probably going to be losing money in the long run unless this guy knows exactly which hand that I have you know whether it's pocket pocket jacks or pocket sixes those are the only two hands that could possibly beat him right here and this is an easy jam for me maybe he was trying to bluff induce me if he thought that I was raising a draw on the turn and figured I'd throw in a big bluff on the river which I occasionally do that would be the only reason to check back the river so I jam all in he makes a call and I wind up winning a very large pot right there 131 big blinds on that pot next one we're looking at I have pocket aces on the button looks like we're gonna run into a little bit of a cooler here against pocket queens i make an open raise on the button and get three bet by the big blind i four bet to 575 and he makes a call we see a flop that is two tone two hearts and two fives on the board this flop is gonna play well for both of our hands i come out and bet 675 and he jams all in right here which i don't blame him for doing with pocket queens there's a lot of hands that are going to call this board Board with pairs that are less than pocket queens he doesn't want to let ace king get there for cheap so I can see why he would jam right here. But I have pocket aces and I make the call and wind up hitting my full house on the turn. He has no outs going into the river and we pick up a very large pot right there too. Next hand we're looking at is pocket tens from the cutoff. We have a limp in front of us and I put in a, an isolation bet of 5x to try to isolate this fish who's got a VPIP of 83 only over a sample size of six. But those are pretty fishy numbers to start off I wind up flopping middle set it checks all the way around with a king high board and we just looked at this type of boards with the c bet percentages and c bet success rates on boards of king high and how they are my highest and that I would start slow playing a little bit more with king high and ace high boards when I flop a huge hand like I just did it seems to have worked lead comes out and bets about half pot and we get a call from the limper the pre-flop limper i'm not gonna let any draws get there for cheap since this board is pretty draw heavy right now so i make it 575 to go we get rid of lead and we get a call from tool fan 23 and we hit our full house on the river none of the draws got there but i think i can represent a missed draw here by just jamming all in and we could probably get most kings to call with a jam here too any missed draw is going to just fold anyway to whatever bet i put out there so we want to try to get as much value from the hands that could possibly possibly call on the river here so I'm just gonna jam all in and he does make a call and we pick up a big pot 
pot right there with another full house. This time we have Ace King and under the gun. We get a call to our left from a fishy player seed 18 and we get a min res on the button from another fish. And I see that this player has three bet 5.4% of hands pre-flop. We do have a small sample size on him, but he hasn't done this with any premium hands yet. So I'm going to be ahead of most of his range that he is three betting with there. So I come out and I'm going to make it expensive for him to play. I don't really, I'd rather pick up this pot right now and I'm not going to mind playing it, but I am going to put some pressure on him since I'm going to be out of position playing against him on the button. So I wouldn't mind picking up this pot right now. So I make it 425 to go and he does make a call. There is now 960 in the pot, eight high, one tone board. We do not have a club in our hand. So this board really, really sucks for our hand. I just checked back. I don't think a bet's going to get rid of very many hands right there with the way he played that one pre-flop and we hit our money card on the turn i do like that card so i make it 550 a bet size of 550 is gonna make a lot of the pairs that could be calling you know less than an ace make a call there we're gonna try to get some some flushes to chase whether it's a low flush or a higher flush i think a high flush probably would have bet that flop but i think we could probably get some low flushes to chase with the bet size of that as well and he winds up jamming all in it's 15 25 left in my stack into a pot an effective pot of 35 85 i mean i'm well past pot committed here i'm just hoping he doesn't have a flush already i'm getting better than two to one here i only have to be right you know about 30 percent of the time in order to make this call so i think this is a pretty easy call for me especially playing against a fishy type player so i do make the call he winds up having nines he has a flush draw or a nine out there but he misses them and we wind up picking a large pot up. So those were the four big pots of the night. Uh, luckily, they were all in my favor. Now let's look at some a couple losses that happened. All right, so this hand, we have Ace-King in the cutoff. We have an open from middle position. The Wolf, who is a regular player, pretty tight player, doesn't play anything too crazy, kind of ABC player. I make a three bet to 525 in the cutoff, and he makes a call. And he's got very high full to three bet percentage um, pre-flop, so I kind of threw up a red flag when he just makes a call right here. And and we wind up flopping top pair, top kicker. Pretty draw heavy, so I put out a small bet, kind of feel where I'm at right here. He does have a very high fold to flop bet, and he makes a call, so I figured his hand is pretty strong right now. I think there's a good chance that he also has ace-king. I knew that the aces was in his range as well. I thought maybe an ace, queen of hearts could be in there. So I just checked back the turn, because I am wary that he does play a very strong range, and this board connects with a lot of his range and he comes and bets 1472 i'm getting you know great odds on this with top pair top kicker honestly i thought we were probably gonna wind up splitting this pot i thought there was a good chance he had ace king as well so i just make a call here he shows aces i think i got out of this hand pretty cheap it wasn't that expensive he probably could have got my whole stack here but all in all i think that is a, a victory being that it is a small loss with such a strong hand all right here i have ace queen in under the gun plus one we get a call in the cutoff from a fish player 10 high board i lead out he makes the call i turn top pair i now have top pair top kicker i fire a two-thirds pot size bet and the river is an eight this card probably missed most of his hands i want to try to get as much value out of pairs that could have called on my turn bet there i figured he could have called down with tens the whole way maybe he had something like queen jack king queen that could have hit on the turn too i didn't really put a five seven in his range maybe i should have but he does go all in there he's got the second nuts it's not very much at all for me to make this call eight dollars and 34 cents into a 40 dollar pot with top hair top kicker against the fish i'm gonna make this call every time and unfortunately i'm gonna lose it once in a while and this happens to be one of those times where i do lose the hand but i am not upset with my play i'm a little upset 
with the read that I had on this, but if you're going to chase that, that bottom straight the whole way, go ahead. Be my guest. Now we're looking at Pocket Kings under the gun plus two. I make a 3x open. We get a call from the cutoff and a call from the fish that we just got in a hand with on the button. And the big blind jams all in right here. I want to try to induce some calls from these players who just limped, especially the player that I just got in the hand with. I see that he's got a deep stack and I think we could probably stack this player if we can get him to see a flop and that he connects with at all. So I just make a call to try to maybe induce one of these players to make a call. It's 1850. Come on, guys. Get in the pot. But they, however, both fold and I see them up against Ace Jack. He misses his Ace there and we pick up a big pot right there with Pocket Kings. That's a good one to end on. Head down to the video description, you guys, to pick up Hold a Manager, which this video was made and reviewed with. Download America's Card Room if you're not on that yet. That's where I do all of my online poker play. Hit that subscribe button. We've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately. Thank all of you guys for subscribing and welcome to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and share it with any of your poker friends. I'll be back very soon with a new video, but until then, I'll see you guys out on the virtual felt.